Welcome to this week's Quick Charge. Jesus said, I come to give you life more abundantly, to live in his abundant, abounding love, mercy, grace, and power. The great thing about abounding in Jesus is that it's not dependent on situations being just so or circumstances being just right or the wind blowing a certain way or stars being aligned. It's above all that. It's higher than any state or any station that we might find ourselves in. Abounding is the way of God and it is a mentality. The prophets of the Old Testament had an abounding mentality in fair weather or foul, in plenty or in famine, in calm or in storm, in prosperity or adversity, in peace or in trouble. Abounding is meant to characterize our lives in Christ, our thinking, our viewpoint, our attitudes and actions, our responses and reactions, our testimony and our life message. You can readily recognize it because when you embrace an abounding mentality, you will be absolutely persuaded that God claims you and that you are fully his. You will know I belong to him. We're inseparable. I'm not a foster child. I'm not a stepchild. I'm not unwanted or illegitimate or abandoned or destitute or forgotten. He's with me. He is in me and he is for me. Nothing can separate me from his love, his care, his protection, his provision, and his guardianship. Those three sons of Israel, when they were thrown into the fire, said, you may throw us in the fire, but we belong to God, and our God will be there in there with us, and that's just what happened. Another way to uh, identify an abounding mentality is you recognize God can do anything and there is nothing impossible. He will move for me. He will act in my behalf because all of my problems are his as well. Since I'm his, what's mine is now his and all of my challenges, my obstacles, my mountains, the issues and concerns of my life since they are, I am now his, then all of those are his. And he is now mine, and what is mine belongs to him. So heaven is open for business, and the promise is that it's going to be on earth as it is in heaven. One last way you can spot an abounding mentality is you recognize God is in control. He's in charge. It's never been otherwise. And that means that nothing in life is going to be accidental or incidental or coincidental or even detrimental because all things are working for good. His plans, his purposes, they're all good. And there's no such thing as irreparable damage or irrevocable loss. His path is good no matter where I may find myself or wherever or whatever uh, I have been led into and through, I can and will prosper and excel and do well. Yes, I can abound. No change of scenery required, no change of circumstances needed. So abounding is a more than mentality. I am more than a conqueror. It is more than enough. What God has done is more than enough. It's a greater than mentality. Greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. It's a can-do mentality. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all and abound. Those in Christ who purposely embrace an abounding mentality, you can spot them because they are the dangerous people. They're the daring people. They're the courageous ones. They're the overcoming ones. They're the radical ones, the resilient ones. They're the unpredictable ones, and even, yes, the unstoppable ones, because an abounding mentality makes me unstoppable in the kingdom. Paul's words to the church in Corinth were, in everything, at all times, you have enough of everything. 
Will you receive that today? God bless you.